everybody, Leroy right back with another shaving video. Um, this is Monday, October 12th, I think, 15th. Uh, shoot, I can't remember. But um, normally this is a uh, menthol Monday type theme, right? But um, the month of October, we kind of decided it was going to be a Razor Rocktober or a Rocket Tober, right? <clears throat> the, the Rocket uh, Safety Razor. I don't have one of those, but I do have some Razor Rock stuff. So, but before I get into that, I just want to thank all of you who had a concern for me for that my last shave video on that um, that aftershave that just burned like a mofo. I, I man, I'm good, no blisters. You know, I just dumped, just went back into the shower, just scrubbed everything really well, and it was fine. But I'm happy to say that this um, that aftershave will be off to a happy home <laughs> sometime this week as soon as I can get to the post office. Uh, you know who you are, brother. So it's yours. Anyways. So what is today's shave? Well, like I mentioned, it is a uh, Razor Rocktober. So with that, I'm going to be using a soap I haven't used for for quite a while, and I don't think I've heard, really heard anything bad about it, um, especially for the price. What the puck blue? This stuff is it's a great, great smelling soap. Um, they say it's modeled after Floyd Blue, which I have never smelled before, but. It's, I like it. Very cologne -y. Uh, This one, you know, I mean, it's not a very expensive soap, so, you know, some of the ingredients aren't the highest quality, but, I mean, it's great. It's really good soap. It's slick. It's, I love it. Continuing on the theme, continuing with the theme of Razor Rock October, I'm going with the Black Hawk version 2. As you can see, the head is curved. Uh, it has a, this takes the Feather Artist Club style blades, and it has a Feather Professional Blade, third use or fourth use, third or fourth, something like that. Um, brush, I'm going with a Cello Row. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this blue mortar on my face and we're gonna get rolling. So, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I hope your week is off to a good start. For Monday, mine's not so bad. I did do something today that I've never ever done before, which is pretty exciting for me. As you guys know, or maybe you don't know, I I am into uh, health and fitness, and I have always wanted to know what my body fat percentage was. I mean, you can guess, you can look up pictures on the internet and you can get an, a rough idea, you know. Um, you can do bio impedance uh, measurements, but those are not accurate at all uh, because you can drink a gallon of water and it'll change. You know, then they have calipers, which are they're not too bad. They're not, they're a little bit accurate, not too bad. Um, but then you have what they call the gold, one of the gold standards right now, which is called the DEXA scan. And I actually had a chance to get that done today, and I was pretty excited about the results. Um, now, a DEXA scan actually tells you what your bone density is, your muscle density, your, your body fat. It calculates everything for you. It's, I mean, there's no 100% accurate way of determining how much body fat you have with, unless you, they cut you open and weigh everything, right? <laughs> Who wants to go through that? I sure as hell don't. But yeah, it was, it was really, really, really neat to, to do. Um... You know, it puts me at 19 and a half body fat, or 19 and a half percent body fat. You know, and the rest 120 something pounds of, uh, of, uh, sorry, I'm just loading up the brush here. 123 pounds of, of lean muscle tissue. That includes muscle, um, bone, all that stuff. Anything that's not fat, basically. And I thought it was really it was really cool to do. There's a company that comes to my There's a company that comes to my office every I want to say it's like every six months or something like that. And uh, normal cost is $45. But with first time, first timers, you get a discount. So it's $25. Which I, I just had to do it, you know. Now, I've 
used calipers to measure my body fat before and it was actually really close. The method that I use, I uh, got about 18.6, so it's 1% off, which I think that's pretty dang good. All right, I got some water here. So I'm pretty stoked about that. At least now, you got a baseline, you know. Try not to take too long on this shave. I've got some exciting soaps to use. You know, I got something pretty awesome in Germany that only a select couple know about. A select few, very select few. And uh, I'm trying to find the wait for the right time to use it because I really want to enjoy it. You know, I don't want to feel kind of rushed for my shave when I use that soap. Nope, it's not tobacco. I've used that before on the channel, so it's not that. But it is pretty exciting. Alright, I think that, that lavender looks pretty good. Alright, let's get on with it. So once again, the Razor Rock Blackhawk version 2, Feather Professional blade in here. Yeah, Feather Professional, not the Supers. There we go. I don't know if you guys have, um, seen any reviews yet but um blackland is coming out with a new razor stainless steel razor that takes feather artist club blades and that thing looks amazing i've seen ruds you have pretty much he, he highly recommends it he loves it he says it actually could replace his VEs for head shaves. Even um, Christopher David Bailey used it, and he loved it. Um, pretty cool. So I'm I'm pretty stoked about that. It's gonna be kind of pricey though. So that one's probably gonna have to stay on the the I want list for a while. I think it's gonna retail for uh, one ninety five. That's kind of steep for me right now. But um, after seeing the reviews and everything, I kind of want that more than I want a car. Or even the, the Black Line Saber. I really wanted a Saber. But yeah, that Vector looks incredible. First pass done. I forgot to mention this is um two days growth, I guess. So I shaved Saturday morning. So two and a half days. Saturday? Oh my god, I can't even remember.
but yeah, man, it's been great getting back into the gym and stuff. Oh, man, it's been awesome. All right, second pass across the grain. Don't move my hair anyway. Be obligatory. Hair flip. Interesting. I am uh, getting an itch from the soap. Oh, I'm not getting allergic to this one too. That would suck. <laughs> uh, would that be my luck? Those of you that have um, non-sensitive skin, you guys are so lucky. So in case you're wondering, I tend to get a little bit better results if I go two with the grain passes on my lower neck, and then I try to go a little bit against the grain on my final pass, which I'll be doing now. Yeah, this is a good soap. It's got decent residual slickness, plenty of cushion, Price, holy crap. So they have three three flavors of this brand. I think it's uh, is it a lime, citrus, and this blue one? Let me add some more water. And once in a while if you if you look, you can get all three for like $8.99 from an Italian barber. My daughter got me this one last year for Christmas, I believe. I mentioned before, she's really good about getting gifts. I mean, really good. <laughs> yeah, we'll just... Man, I keep meaning to send out my straight razors to get uh, home, but man, I just... Too much other stuff to do. I'll get it done. I got two new ones that I want to get home. GDs. This is a pretty cool razor to use. I like it. It's, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's not aggressive. It just looks aggressive, but it's not. It's efficient. It's very efficient. You can see I can buff. No issues. Finding the angle. Angle. No, no problem. Great little razor. But I 
as they say, your mileage may vary. What razor works for me just might not work for you. That's how I, I kind of am with the gem blades. Granted, I've only used a uh, open chrome micromatic, and that's pretty dang aggressive. here. No Kevy Shea's face wash today, but you guys can see hopefully how shiny that is. A little airy. That's just my fault. I don't have a lot of experience with this brush, but it's like a pillow on the face. Actually more, more like a cloud. It's a beautiful knot. Very, very beautiful. Look at that bad boy. Love it. All right, I'm done. Quick little recap. The the whisker destructor. <laughs> the uh, Razor Rock Black Hog version two with a feather professional blade in here. Third, fourth use. Salva rope. Um, I want to say this is 2234. Don't quote me on that. And the soap for Razor October, What the Puck Blue. Thanks again, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the post shave off camera. Just, you guys may be getting tired of watching me and hearing me jaw jack and stuff like that. So, with that, I will leave you until next time. Next time, I'll, I'll try to do something a little bit special. A really, really awesome soap, okay? So thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you all had a great weekend. And please, I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, everybody, please, wherever you do, do not text and try. Take care. Bye-bye.